In this video, we'll look at creating a confidence interval on the TI-8384 calculator. So here's the data. If this first part is if we're given pure data. And it's kind of funny, though, in this question, they actually give us the mean and standard deviation. But let's, let's work with if we're given data. And they want us to construct a 99% confidence interval for the mean concentration of a dissolved organic carbon collected from organic soil. OK, here's the answer. But how do we get it? Well, we go to the TI-8384, and we go into the stat, and we click Edit. We're going to put them in List 1. So all of our data goes in List 1, and I've already entered all the data in List 1. Once you have it in List 1, then we go to Stat again, and we go over to Tests. Then we go down until we get to the T interval. So this interval one here, number 8, click Enter. Then, since we're doing a test on data, we have the input as data. Hit enter so it's highlighted. We want to make sure this list says L1. If it doesn't, then we can get that alpha. It's on alpha there. Click alpha to get it back here. Second, and go down to L1, which is the number one. Enter, frequency one, same thing. Click the alpha, click one for one. Enter, and then calculate level 0.99. Yep, that's what we have, so 0.99. Then move down and hit calculate. Takes a moment and it gives us our interval 11.97 and 22.02. If we round up, even though this is 22.01, you can see that it has a um, plus or minus 0 0.01 tolerance. So we would be right with either of those. Then it gives our standard deviation, which they have here, and the number and the mean. So they were right. Let's look at another problem where they just give us the standard deviation and mean and see how we do it differently. So in this example, poll is conducted of 1,013 oh, 1, people. The results indicated that the mean was 10.5 books and the standard deviation 16.6 .6 books. Construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean number of books people read. Okay. So this time we're just given the mean and standard deviation. It's going to be basically the same. We just ignore the input of the data. We go to stat over to tests down to number 8, t interval. Now we switch over and go to, we have the stats. We have the mean and standard deviation. Click enter. This input will change now. I'm going to clear that out for the mean and type 10.5. Hit enter. I'm going to clear this out. And click 16.6. How many people were asked? 1,013. So that's our N, our number. And then our confidence level this time is 0.95. Put that stuff in there. Click down, click calculate. It takes a moment. And there's our interval 9.48, 11.52. So pretty quick. The only hard part is, is entering all the information if you have a lot of data. Otherwise, if you have the mean and standard deviation, it's not a problem.